Warning. Our YouTube channel and its videos may contain scenes, language, and content that may not be appropriate for all audiences. These videos include surveillance footage, undercover pursuit of suspects, actual police and rescue operations, and fearless confrontations. If you do not approve of the content, please do not watch our videos. If you wish to continue, we strongly advise that you proceed with caution. Viewer's discretion is advised. Okay. Good morning, who sa inyo lahat? Good morning, ho, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao, Philippines. Good morning, good morning, ho, sa mga suki, ho, natin, overseas. Mga Filipino overseas and Pinoy, nasa ibang bansa, ho. Hindi lang mga OFW, bagkos mga Filipino, ho, talagang uh, sumusubaybay, ho, sa atin. In the U.S., good evening, ho, sa inyo. In Canada, good evening, ho. In Europe, kung kayo, ho, nagmo-monitor, ho, sa amin, gabi, ho, sa inyo. Good, good, good morning from the Philippines. Umpisahan ho natin mga boss, this is Ocho ho ng August. Thank God it's Friday. Let me begin with something like any issues and any hot topics that you hear in some other talking heads programs. You don't take it seriously unless you hear it here sa Bitag Live. This is not a radio show na nilagay lang sa telebisyon. Ang makikita mo sa kanila Radio na set up na ginawang pang television. No. Bitag Live is a true blue no-nonsense investigative television show with deep analysis, insights of how all hot issues in the country. It takes a deeper analysis, not those being discussed bits and pieces. Just like any other newsy type programs, this is an unfiltered statement. And I'm saying it with confidence and competence. And I don't. Care. Stop! All right. True Blue. No nonsense television show in the morning. Live streaming to Facebook. Ho. Beat the live. The convergence of all technologies will soon be integrated into one with issue the use of multimedia. And Jan new media, traditional media, social media into one. Today, Pag-usapan ho natin ito, na importante ho ito, na nalalagay ho sa kontrobersiya ho ang Pangulo ho natin si President Duterte. Umaamin ho yung Pangulo sa kanyang pagkakamali. This is a sign of a strong individual, strong leader, and a leader who acknowledge that he committed mistake is a sign of a strong person. Now, he, he, he must, any, any leader, must acknowledge kung ano yung pagkakamali or sometimes setback. Ordinary, ordinarily, pag isang mga leader na mayayabang, hindi ho aamin ang pagkakamali. Pa, paano mo mababago isang pagkakamali kung ikaw mismo hindi mo maamin ng iyong pagkakamali? So, pa, paano mo mababago ang sitwasyon? Anybody that never admits mistake can never change the situation. Take it or leave it. Sa BOC, eto ho, Bureau of Customs, talama kong korupsyon, eto institusyon na ito, tiwale, nakukuha sa kulay ng salapi. Sa loob, sa loob ng sinasabing kawani na yan. Yung mga smugglers, mga brokers, fixers, yung mga sabihin na ho natin, itong tawag sa kanila, collectong collectors. E ba doon mga opisyal, na, nandyan na ho sila, nakasanayan na ho nila. Uh, yun ho, Part 2 na ho to ng ating topics kahapon. Ano ho yung part 2 na, no? Ito na ho ng aking sinasabi. You change the people, but you can't change the culture unless otherwise change everything. Ako, magsasabi ho ako dito, no? Borrowing this from my friend, si uh, Cito Beltran. Declare martial law inside the Bureau of Customs. You know, magmumukha akong katawa-tawa rin. I may sound funny, but I'm dead serious. Diyaratsahan ho ito, mga boss. Binago mong tao, naglagay ka ng isang leader na matatag. Pero itong leader na matatag na pinagkatiwalaan ho ng Pangulo, si Paidon, eh, paniwala ho ng Pangulo, malinis. Tatlong beses nagtangkang mag-resign ho to, pero hindi ho tinanggap ng Pangulo dahil nagbibigay ng tamang impormasyon sa kanya at hindi ho nagsisinungaling. Bear in mind, the President 
as long as you tell the truth with sincerity, you still have your integrity intact. Pag isang taong sinungaling, medyo minamarkahan ka ng Pangulo. May pattern ho ang Pangulo. Nababasa ho ni Bitag ang Presidente ho sa kanya. There's a little bit of semblance and similarity na nakikita ko ho. I mean, I'm not just, eh, hindi ako nakikisakay. But the way he thinks, na, na, nababasa ko ho eh. Just don't lie to the President. Say it straight. If you can't make it, say it. Marunong ho siyang mag-acknowledge ng sinasabing honesty. Because your honesty, truthfulness, integrity, yan hong gusto ng ating Pangulo. Pero kapag ikay hambog, sinungaling, madada, marami ho dyan, sus Mario Josep, tumingin ho kayo sa dilaw. Wala hong ginawa, kundi magsalita na magsalita, ngawa na ngawa, ala namang nagawa. Nung sila'y panahon nila noon, sus Mario Josep, eh, cost, customs na to, matagal na ho to eh. But let me, let me tell you this. Ako ho, sige, sabihin na natin. Para malinis ho ang customs, ano hong kinakailangan? Abay, dalhin mo na hong marines, dalhin mo yung special forces, dalhin mo ho yung mga matatag na mga sundalang susunod lang, bantayan ho ang papasok, bantayan ho palabas, pati ho sila eh, eh, involved na sa pag inspection Tingnan ho yung mga bagay na mga inward foreign manifest na nakikita na ho, uh, ito, real time. Mas maganda siguro, may tagasilip ang Pangulo sa loob ng palasyo at nakikita niya online, the inward foreign manifest. Anong ibig sabihin ng inward foreign manifest, mga boss? Parating pa lang ang bagahe, madapat merong makikita saan ang gagaling yan. Kung saan ang gagaling yan at merong medyo malaking bulto-bulto na yan. Unless kung nagsisinungaling doon sa bansang pinanggalingan yan, eh, may kunting problema. Let's just assume everything, everybody na pag dumating ho sa ating bansa, you know, we can't trust anyone. Hindi naman ho, parang parang, mas maganda ho nung parading kaysa naman bandang huli, ikay luhaan at sisigaw at maraming kakyaw-kyaw. Alam niyo ba, ang Inward Foreign Manifest na ituro ho sa akin doon ng ibang mga kaibigan ho natin. Sila ho'y mga negosyante sa the industry and commerce. They have said this long time ago. Kaya lang sa loob ho ng, ang kokontra ho sa sinasabing sistema na gustong ilagay ho ng uh, Pangulo or sino man talpula nung uupo dyan, magbago man ang administrasyon at magbago mga presidente, iisa lang ho. We need to be on top of the situation. May tawag ho dyan. The three modes must be implemented and executed. Ito ho yung sinasabi ho natin, proactive, active, and reactive. Ano ho proactive? Nakikinita mo na pagdating ho ng sinasabing, ay kargamento na ho yan. Meron ang titingin dyan. May mga ngamoy na dyan. You always say, may dalabang mga kontrabando to. Number two, aggressively always on the lookout doon sa mga pangyayari dahil infested ho ang customs. Number three, instantaneously you can react to to every situation kung merong biglang bumulaga dyan. So don't forget, we need to be proactive. We need to be active. We need to be reactive in reaction quickly. Ang problema ho sa customs, hindi ko ho makita kung meron ho silang proactive, active, and reactive. Ito hong hinahanap sa mga ehekutibo. Pagdating sa mga desisyon, implementasyon, pagdating doon sa mga aksyon na ginagawa. Ano mang ang sinasabing teorya, ang bawat ehekutibo na ilagay mo sa departamento, merong laging sasabihin, ito, estratehiya. Ito, ang solusyon. Ito, ang action plan. Tanong, ang tanong. Magiging katotohanan yan, magiging realidad yan, eh yan uubra kapag nakita mo yung sistema at kultura sa loob. Take it from Bitag. This is not another Talking Head Show's wannabe that never was and will talk to you set up radio Talking Heads sa television. This program, I'm gonna tell you. This program, look me straight in the eye. No nonsense. TV shows. Deeper sense of analysis. Not bits and pieces. Not entertainment. But we have that. We can do that. There's something else that we can do that they can't. Mayabang ang dating. Who cares? Who cares? I challenge everybody. Come on, let's level up. Pagdating ho rito sa mga analysis and issues, let's not just be mga sakay angkas sausaw, angkas sakay sausaw, A-S-S-Butas. 
<laughs> I can't say, what is butas in Tagalog? Whole. Listen carefully, read my lips, look me in the eye. Angkas, A. Sakay, S. Sausaw, butas. Nakita nyo? Kaya, nakikita nyo? A, S, S, butas. Translate the butas in Tagal, in English, whole. You know, I just gonna tell you this. Tutukan nyo ho, pakatutukan nyo ho ang Bitag Live. This is what we do. Whether you like me or you don't, this is not a popularity contest. I'm gonna say it unfiltered. I'm gonna say it no holds bar. This is gonna be some kind of a wild program like zoo type, maybe. But we can do that they can do. They, can, they, they can't do what we're doing. Is that a statement? Hambog the thing, sabi ng iba. Really now? Really now? Come on, challenge. Come on, let's le level up. Yung sinasabing analysis, commentaries. Not that bit and pieces. And then sinasakyan lang kayo because you can't. You can do it, kaya ako minsan, bits and pieces. Nothing wrong with that. Just umamin lang kayo. Kung hindi nyo kaya, then wag. <laughs> Tanong, malinis ho ba talaga si Faldon? I don't know. Maybe the president knows something that I don't know. Why is he trusting this custom commissioner? Maybe the basis is this. The sincerity of the guy, buho ang kanyang laman loob na parang sabihin. Ito ho, sabi, magre-resign na kung di ko kaya ang lalim ng sinasabing korupsyon. First, second, the same. Third, my pattern ho, yung honesty, loyalty to the leader. Ano ho sinabi? Stay there. Kaya lang siguro unti-unti nagsisink in yung reality that you can't win a war. Either you join them or you declare war with them. Declaring war doon sa loob ng sinasabing panggapan. Eh, you have to declare war. Magdideklar ka ng gyera. Dideklara ka ng gyera sa mga potok sa buhong pendehong mga dupang kengkoy, kumag at kulokoy, mga gunggong, salawahan, traidor. Itong masang katerbang tiwale na nabuhay na sila lagi sa kulay ng salape. Well, we don't really know exactly the fate of uh, the fate ni, Paldo, ni Faildon. Maybe he's gonna be booted out. I don't really know. But the president saying, he trusts this guy. Pag ang Pangulho kasi nagsabing, I trust this guy. I don't trust. Akala ko kaalyado ko mga taga-customs. That's what you think, Mr. President. You get a bunch of sons of female dogs. You get a bunch of, I don't know how to call them anymore. No words can translate. No words that will fit. Pero para sa akin ho, Mr. President. At nanggagaling na rin ho kay President Duterte. Korap ang mga tao sa customs. Except kay Faldon. Kaya hinahanap po natin. What made the President say that? You know what? The attempt of Valdon to resign three times, a pattern of saying, I give up. But the guy said, stay, carry on. And the guy, probably, you can see doon sa galit ni Valdon. Not in defense of Valdon. I don't know this guy. But let me, let, let me this. Sa sobrang galit niya katrellanes, na nag-grandstanding during the customs, uh, yung hearings of Senate. The guy doesn't want to answer anymore. It's too much. There's too much sa loob ng kanyang damdamin na inilabas na lang yung luha eh. That, 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 that kind of inis buisit. E nabasa ho ni Gordon yun eh. Napaiyak ko eh. Ang tao ko minsan, kaysa naman magwala ka, magmura ka, ibaliktad mo yung mga mesa. Pak! You know what? Hahamunin mo. Respect. Kumbaga, respectful pa ho eh. Dinaan na lang sa la yung emosyon. The guy can't take it anymore. Eh, mantakin mo. Too much, too much stress. stress. Anxiety na ho mga susunod yan eh. Anxiety that will lead you to depression. And depression will lead you to uncertainty. Uncertainty. Sometimes, it's a question, shall I go, shall I not? Mali na ho ba? Dinawin ho natin to, ano? kasi marami hong magdaling magsalita, nag-grandstanding. 
Very simple lang ho ito eh. Kaya para doon sa nagsasabing, I can, I can, I can prove that there's corruption in customs. Nek, nek mo, Trillanes. Of course, everybody knows that. Panahon pa ni Pinoy. Sabi nga ni Pinoy, saan po kayo kumukuha ng kapal na mukha? Ha? Kayo ang boss mo. Eh, boss mo nga kami. Ay, hindi ba? Nung panahon ni Pinoy, ang, eh, doon ho sa kanyang state of the nation. Let's go back. Hindi ba may katagan? Hanapin mo to, co-pilot. Saan po kayo kumukuha ng kapal? Saan po kayo kumukuha ng kapal na mukha? There you go. All talks, no walk. The president states something. Corrupt tong mga kumag na to. What's the next step, Mr. President? Declare martial law sa customs. How? Send in the Marines. The few good men who you can trust. Bantayan ang bawat port of entry. Bantayan ang bawat kargamento. Bantayan ang mga kolektor. Bantayan sa loob. Lagyan ang mga CCTV. Lagyan ang sinasabing mga hidden microphone that you can hear and listen to every transaction. All transaction must only be done sa loob. If anybody goes out, magtatransak sa mga smuggler sa labas. You know what? Any transaction cannot be done. It must be done inside. Ngayon, eto lang ho, ano? Watch this. Analyze this. You know, sistema ho rito sa customs, hindi ho madali. Analyze this. Um, marami na ho nagtangka na hindi ho talaga mabago. Alam nyo kasi, may sistema ho sa loob na inside looking out. Outside looking in. Those that are inside the Bureau of Customs are the ones feeding outside. Those that are outside the smugglers' sense of female dogs, looking in. Information are flowing freely. It's all about money. It's all about the color of money. Kulay ng salapi. You're not going to like what I'm saying. Lalo pag tiwali ka na, ala akong pakialam, putok sa buho ka. Ngayon, ang isip, kung ikay tiwali at nakikinig sa akin at parang na, na, namamawis ng bombolyos mo, singit mo, at yung mga, mga, sa mga hinlalaki mo pinapawisan, nangangamoy ng alipunga mo, it's because I'm telling the truth. Are you guys sweating cold now because there is beta gla? I was gonna talk like this head on sa inyo. This guy can take you. Ngayon, inside, looking out. What is inside looking out? All the information. Every bits and pieces about cargo na ipapalabas ng sinasabing mga smuggler may kachokran sila sa loob, e eh, binabato sa loob. At sa loob, sila nang bahala. As long as you take me, as long as you take care of me, I'll take care of you. Yun hong mga pinagkakatiwalaan sa loob, they succumb. You know why? They're isolated. Napaligiran ho sila eh. Can you beat, even though you have the 12, sabihin natin, the, the, the clean dozen of men, carefully selected, against thousands of sons of female dogs, corrupt. Paano matatalunin yun? Ang masahol dito kahapon, sinabi ko mga boss, mismo. Kayo mga kapatid namin sa industriya, are you taking my challenge? Isuka nyo. Ilantad nyo kung sino tong mga putok sa buho. Ang problema sa inyo eh, nakatengge lang kayo dyan. Whether maparadyo kayo, mapatelebisyon, mapadyaryo kayo, at yung ibang mga dyaryo-dyaryo na hindi naman binabasa, pambalo sa tinapa. Ang daming dyaryo sa loob. Mga dyaryo na kung saan, ewan natin. You know, mas maganda ilagay nyo lang sa, sa, sa CR habang nasa ka, trono yung tao. Para na sa ganun, kung walang toilet paper, yun ang panggamit. Ito lang ho yung sinasabi natin, uh, kawani na kung saan. Ang daming dyaryo. You know why? Everybody wants to be a publisher sa loob ng customs. And they're being taken care of by what? By mga collectors sila para kung sakaling may problema, pababanata nila sa kanilang dyaryo, pababanata nila para sending the signal doon sa labas. Sa labas, abay, kaibiganin natin. Kaya, kita nyo, only in the Philippines! Saan ho maraming dyaryo? Mga dyaryo, hindi mo bigyan ang accreditation, iba sa kanila. Well, dikit din sa mga mainstream na dyaryo, radio, television. 
Kumusta ba mga kapatid natin sa industriya dyan? Are you guys taking me seriously? Or you guys hate me for talking this way? Maayos sana yan kung kayo nasa Fort Estate and you really, really parindigan nyo ang inyong mga ginagawa. Love your profession. Do not love money. Because money, the love of money is the root of all evil. Pabalik na ho ang uh, Bitag Live. Good morning ho sa inyo kung nabubulaga ho kayo sa pagsulput ho natin. Well, this is a regular television program every morning from 8 to 9 in the morning, Monday to Friday ho, ano? Naka-live stream ho tayo sa Facebook page ho ng uh, uh, Bitag Live. At the same time, uh, it's coming, makaka-simulcast din ho itong programa na to sa, sa stasyon ho ng radyo. And so, gumagana ho yung sinasabing convergence of three technologies and that's basically, ito ho yung social media, uh, traditional media, and new media, uh, all into one, digital, sama-sama ho yan. Uh, ito ho yung mga comments na padala ho sa atin, kapag nasa customs ka, nagtrabaho big time ka na dahil maraming pera dyan, galing sa mga smugglers, sabi ho ni Roland Javier. Ito ho yung, binabasa lang ho natin real time, bakit mga droga nakakalusot sa customs? Very good question. Yung mga bagahe, pinapadala ng mga OFW, hinaharan ng customs, nakawan, nanakawan pa. Meron akong nakita sa Facebook, sinisira ang bagahe ng pasahero para manakawan. Sana mabigyan po ng pansin mga magnanakaw. Sana iya! Sana iya! O naiya? Naiya yan. Thank you for more power in your program. And then si Jeffrey Solivares Bonina, shout out ko na po ang mga... <laughs> angels. angels ng KP. Bakit? Wala bang uh, bitag uh, live angels? Evelyn Balonan Tabane mm, Tanabe Nakakayakaya ka, naka, nila ang dating pinuno Matagal ng mga mayayaman Lalo na yumaman sila Peke mga dukha Oh Maura Okay On na ba yan sa USA? <laughs> How's your vacation? Ah, Nag-uusap-usap na ho sila rito Let's go back to the program mga boss Okay Let's have this topic Ito ho si Lenny Robreda, the Vice President. Sabi niya ho, mga boss, ito ano, We are not like that. Sabi niya, we have been disgraced by the culture of impunity a long time ago. It should not have happened. <laughs> ito yung kailangan natin mag-express ng outrage, sabi ni Lenny Robredo. Hindi naman tayo ganyan, hindi tayo ito. Alright. Kailangan daw po mag-express Nang outrage Kinukuha ko yung sound bites nyo sana Kasi tumatalon-talon yung aking prompter Nalitutuloy ako <laughs> Anyway Kasi nasa news ho yan Alam mo Vice President Lenny I mean I think you're right You're so right and you're so wrong Let me tell you this Why you're right Yeah Importante isuka natin Ipagsigawan natin yung galit natin sa mga bagay na nakikita natin Yung culture of impunity Yung walang pakundangan ang, Ito hong walang kapkundangan Yung kalokohan, kagaguhan, kawalang hiyaan Pagiging kriminal, pagiging tiwali, pagiging korap Lahat sama natin yan but, but, but there's something wrong As I said, you're so right yet you're so wrong Na dapat isuka talaga ang lalim ng problema. Ano yung lalim ng problema? Both ways. But you're doing it only one way. Yung lalim ng problema ay ganare. Ano ba ang problema sa bansa? Hindi ko ba? Droga, corruption, and then krimen. Kapatid yan ho eh. Droga, corruption, krimen. Krimen, social problem ho yan. Magkapatid ho ang krimen at corruption. Magkapatid ho ang krimen at droga Hindi mo pwedeng ipaghiwalay Iisang pinanggalingan, iisang magulang yan Dahil sa droga Nakakasira at nasisira Ang ating bansa kaya, kaya, kaya kung sasabihin mo Hindi po pwede Ito ang mga nangyayari sa ating bansa What are you saying? Oh, yung nakikita mo yung culture of impunity That you're now judging administration Kasalukuyan na parang patay dito, patay doon Drug war dito, drug war doon Ito yung mga sinasabing casualty of war na sinasabi nyo victims of human rights Pero ang nakikita nyo ay ganare Always, always you have an agenda I know that you're honest enough that you know, the due process But the due process applies to all or none at all The due process is always 
doon sa sinasabi niyong casualties, which is tama naman. Well, what about those criminals na talagang recidivists pa ulit-ulit na? Come on, take me. You know, the next time you want to talk, Vice President, with due respect, ang isinusukan nyo, yun hong sinasabing stilo at pamamaraan ng kasulukoyang administrasyon sa solusyon ng sinasabing malalim na droga. Magkaiba kasi eh. Ang lalim ng droga, pananaw ng sinasabing kasulukoyang administrasyon ng pangalan ay Rodrigo Duterte at ang uh, uh, pananaw ninyo bilang mga Liberal Party at mga dilaw sa pangunguna mo bilang chairman ng Liberal Party ay eh magkaiba. Ang droga para sa inyo ay parang health problems. Health problem. Health problem. Dito ho kay Pangulo, nakakasira ng bansa. Potok sa buhong mga iho de kabron at iho de puto ay mga nasa likod nito. Sila yung naninira at nabibiktima yung gumagamit kaya nirehabilitate. Pero ang hindi nyo nakikita mga potok sa buho, etong nagtatago sa likod na sinasabing health issues, they're the ones destroying. Coupled with the fact may mga kurap. Alam niyo kasi, corruption, droga, uh, ito, hong, ito hong dulot ng corruption, uh, Vice President Lenny. Corruption, mga nganak ko yan. Uh, saan ho? It will lead. Corruption sa droga, corruption. Pag ang isang eh, corruption, suhul dito, suhul doon, lagay dito, lagay doon. Yeah, corrupt, eh, yun, na, na, nakukuha yung tao. Corruption and crime. Ang problema ho kasi, pwede niyong isuka yung kasamaan, pero kasamaan saan? kasamaan doon sa parte ng kasalukuyang administrasyon, trying to solve the problem and taking care of business. Iba ho, malalim ang droga. Ha? Ang tinitingnan niyo yung Pangulo at ang kanilang aksyon na kumbaga sa mga tao, sinasabi niyo, the culture of impunity, nasasanay mga taong bumulagta dito, bulagta roon. Kinukondisyon ng mga tao na para maging criminal mind. Is that what you're saying? Come on, give me a break. Maganda yung isuka natin, yung kasamaan ng mga kriminal na naglalako ng droga. Kasamaan ng mga kurap na nanunuhul at binibili yung mga opisyalis ng gobyerno natin. Kasamaan din ng iba dyan na kung saan ang pagpapatupad ng batas. Kasamaan na kasalukuyan sa loob ng administrasyon ni Digong, umaamin siya na merong mga kurap. So both ways tayo eh. You cannot just simply, sabi nga ho natin, No matter how thin you thin. Let me let me show you this. Uh, let me show you this again. This is how thin I can. You present this. What about this? No matter how you tear this, there will always be two side. Side A, side B. So you're presenting this. What about this? Get it? Do you get it? Spinoza said that no matter how thin you make the slice, there's going to be two sides. Just like what you're saying, the due process. Due process must be applied to all or not at all. Why do you always cry due process? Is it because you are in the opposition? Your time's up. You try to portray due process because, you know, we're trampling the rights of others that you call the victims. Maybe you're right and maybe you're wrong. But you know what? Maybe you're looking at the effect of the problem, but you're not looking at the cause of the problem. Mas maganda siguro tumingin kayo sa dahilan ng problema. Huwag sa epekto. Ang nakikita nyo, epekto ng problema. And when you see something in reaction to what the president and the administration is doing, that's when you attack and you attack. But you don't look at the real problem. This guy named Rodrigo Duterte, just like taking care of business, should be like, it's always analyzing where the problem is. Until you see the problem, you can never make a difference. You can't change the world. That is a fact and you can take it to the bank. You can't change the world until you see the real problem, the cause of the problem, not the effect of the problem. Ang dahilan ng problema kinakain na makita mo sa lalim, tumingin ka pa, kalkalin mo, hukayin mo. Hindi yung mababa hukay mo. Siyempre, ganun talaga. Political party kayo.
and you should so dapat buhayin yung partido ninyong dilaw na medyo ibinasura na at kinalimutan na ng mga taong ibinasura kayo sa pamamagitan ng eleksyon at boto. Ang drogang ito, hindi sana lumalim kung hindi nagpabaya yung inyong Kayo ang Bosco. Repeat it. Kayo ang Bosco. Talaga. Naging boss ka namin ng anim na taon, lumala ang droga. Ang tanong ko naman sa'yo, pakiulit mo, saan po kayo kumukuha ng kapal ng mukha? Saan po kayo kumukuha ng kapal ng mukha? Sinong tinatanong mo? Yung mga kaalyado mo dati na kasalukoy na epekto ng problema, sinusolve ngayon ng Pangulo Duterte at Administrasyon at hinahanap ang dahilan ng problema dahil yung epekto ay lumulutang. Kayo ang dahilan ng problema. Nagpabaya kayo sa loob ng anima taon at kasalukuyan ipinatong nyo sa balikat ng pangalan ni Rodrigo Duterte. Oh my depending President Digong! Depends on where you look at it. I just happen to be in the rain. We happen to be in the same page. Same thinking. Taking care of business. Well, maybe hindi nyo gustong stilo. Maybe ibang stilo ng Pangulong President Duterte ang ginigiba ng human rights. European Union. And yes! Kayo sa mga, sa Estados Unidos, mga Pinoy. Yes! And of course, Nababahala na ho yung um, Liberal Party because they keep on talking, they keep on talking, they keep on talking, they keep on talking. Until such time, you know, it becomes the boy who cried wolf. Nawawala na kasi all talks, no walks. That's exactly what the fact is. Ang sabi naman itong isang obispo na... Ayusin niyo muna ang hanay ninyo, may mga rapist pala kayo na mga obispo. Ayusin niyo ang hanay ninyo, kayo ang tinitingnan ninyo, yung sinasabing mga, mga bagay-bagay na kumbaga sa gobyerno pero hindi niyo tinitingnan, nagkakalat ang pornografiya dahil ang pornografiya niyo ang tamatangkilik ay eh, mga obispo pari ninyo. Nagmamari ang palad siguro pag sila ay nalulungkot. <laughs> Ngayon, etong sabi ni... <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, hey, I'm just trying to be funny. Entertainment value, don't take me seriously on that. Oh, maybe if you want, it's okay. Uh, sabi ho ni president, uh, former president of the CBCP, si Archbishop Oscar Cruz. This guy, I like this guy. But it's always been on the other side. Dapat sa iyo, pananampalataya, tulung, tu turuan mo ang mga deboto ninyo, kung may deboto pa kayo, yung mga devotees, ng tamang pananampalataya, tamang pagtingin. Ang kay Caesar, kay Caesar... Render to Caesar the things of Caesar to God's for God. Nasaan ka ba? Why are you always looking on the government? Why not look at yung hanay ng sinasabing katoliko? Sabi niya, and I quote verbatim, Whether we like it or not, this mentality is creeping in, especially the mind of the young, and that's worrisome. Ang sinasabi ni Bishop Cruz, ang nakikita nila, yung mong mga hakbang, yeah, kasalukuyan hakbang na 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 yung mga operations so you know na ginagawa laban sa droga you know what you do instead of saying doon ho sa mga homily ninyo sa mga sermon ninyo kids families mother father brother sister grandmother father let's teach our kids the next generation do not play with drugs. It is the root of all evil. Don't look at the government. It's easy to talk. Ang dali nyo magsalita. Para sa akin kasi, hindi pa kayo tapos. Ano ba nangyari doon sa Santi Polo ba yun? Yung bubispo ninyo? Dinala yung minor de edad sa hotel. Bakit napatay agad yung issue na yun? Dahil maraming katoliko na mga media people? Yeah, I'm a Catholic. If you want to consider me Catholic, but I happen to be speaking my mind. Bakit nawala na yung parang nagkaroon na ng media blackout? What happened? Nakapagpiyansa pa. Hindi ba ikaw mismo, Bishop Cruz, nagsabi, uh, Tingnan natin, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Dapat ang sinabi nyo, hindi po pwede sa hanay ng katolikong mga obispo at pare na merong kaming demonyo na sumusot ng sultana, nag 
magmimisa pero pala demonyo. Who's talking? Look at what you're look at what you're doing. Did you just hear what I say? Nagmimisa na kasultana pero yung pala demonyo. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, yun lang ang point ko sinasabi ko sa inyo, mga boss. Kung makikialam kayo tulad ni Leno Robredo, it's okay. You have the right to say it because you're the vice president. We do respect, I respect you for your opinion. But say, you make it two way. It's like, it's like slicing a piece of cheese and no matter how thin you slice, there will always be two sides. Kanina, comparison ko, hindi ba? I will try to take this sheet. Very thin. This is your side, but you left the other side. There's another side. Side A, side B. But it came from this. This is the cause of the problem. <laughs> if you take this an integral part of the whole, it becomes the effect of the problem from the integral part of the whole. Matalinong usapan ho Welcome back! Ito ho, ang Pitag Live. Uh, balik na ho, ano? Sa PTV4, kung kayo ho'y kabubukas lang eh, yung television, make it a habit to check in every 8 to 9 in the morning sa Pitag Live. Ho. Si Ben Tulfo ho to, ano? Mga boss, uh, sabi na ho namin sa inyo, sanayin nyo lang ho, make it a habit to listen to us. Maybe wild morning, but then again, no nonsense, true blue analysis. Matapang ho, may entertainment value. Pero nakalimutan ho natin, basahin nyo, ito ho, basahin nyo muna natin to ay eh, mga Edogawa Ku sa Tokyo. Sabi ho ni Axe Rice. And then, marami ho rito, salamat ho sa mga papadala. Pag binasa ho natin, Singapore, let me see, check, checking out kung ano mga bansa ho nanunod ho sa atin. Ano? Uh, marami ho dito kanina, kaya lang eh, inuulan ho tayo ng mga, mga angels, mga fanatics ho ng Bitag Live. Hong Kong, let me see that! Mm -hmm. And then, iba pa ho rito at... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, tingnan ko na lang ho, uh, uh, Bakersfield, California. Ayan ho si Cynthia Jordan. And then, uh, okay, pabatiin ho muna natin yung mga farms ho natin. Eh. Friday ho ngayon. Let's get a little bit more light. Alright, presenting, just in case hindi nyo pakilala, meron ho tayong zoo morning. Ito, this is a zoo type morning with bitag kasi may mga zoo animals ho tayo. They are part of, you know, a programa ho natin. Pabatiin ho natin si Franklin D. <laughs> can, can, alright? Ah, uh, medyo. Uh, ah, okay. Kumusta naman? How's everything? Medyo hinay-hinay ka sa mga sinasabi mo ngayon, bossing ah. Ano bang problema? Ah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, si, 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 si Sunny T. Pabatiin natin. Sunny T. Alright. Sunny T. Aha. Uh -huh. Musta ba? Wala, wala ka masabi ngayon? Wow. Oh, okay. May, may sore throat ka muna. Oh, oh. Okay, si, si Gary. Si Gary A. Kong Gary. Oh, okay. Eh, 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 bakit mukha pa ni ano? Kung si Gary ay, bakit mukha pa ni Sunny T yan? <laughs> na, nawala. Nawala. Oh, holy. Pakiulit kasi hindi siya nakita. Ay, you, you look good today. And so am I. Thank you so much. Well, uh, mutual respect and mutual admiration. Kaya, okay. Diyan ka lang. Well, <laughs> si Vice. How's everything? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Uh, good morning, who's on you? I, I, I noticed na maganda hong sinabi nyo kanina. Kaya lang ako, naniniwala ho ako. You know, due process applies to all. If not, ganun ba? Uh, hindi mo ako masisisi parang lumalabas Anong pakiulit? Wala kang integrity, Ben Tulfo Continue Halatang tuta ka ni President Duterte mo Ang naniniwala sa iyo mga Duterte lang Wala kang credibility pagdating doon sa mga yellow tards 
<laughs> Halatang halata ka sa buga ng bibig mo, tuloy mo lang. Ngiwi ng bibig mo, ikay isang Dutertards. Bakit mo nasabi? Sa hugis at tabas na mukha mo at bigote mo, Dutertards. Uh, nung panahon ng dilaw, ganyan ka na. Okay. Nung si Pino yung nakaupo, wala kang ginawa, kundi bumanat. Eh, ano, marami naman ako nakikita noon eh. Alright. Hindi ka totoong journalist kasi ang analysis mo slanted doon lagi kay Dutar Tards. Ka maraming nanonood sa do, please don't do, wag mo naman magpahiya parang gat, alam mo uh, it's okay you speak your mind out kasi with due respect you're the vice sino ba naman ako kundi si Ben Tulfo uh, hamak na uh, analyst journalist yeah. ano pakikulit wala ako. I should practice my ethics I should review the canons of journalism. I should review again the law of journalism. Nagturo ka ba? Hindi, hindi ka journalist eh. Law ang ginawa mo eh. Alright. So parang, it's okay that, you know, I, I'll give you a fair chance to, you know, take a sneak, you know, cheap shot on me. That's fine. Okay lang sa akin. You're, you're okay. Alam mo naman ko, fair and square sports. Anything else that you... Walang kwenta yung accent ko. Alright. Pa-English-English ka pa. Ako. Duling ka siguro dahil hindi mo matanggal yung salamin mo. Um... Mahinang optic nerve ko, vice, kapag hindi ako gumamit. It will lead to parang, um, you know, I can't take the lights. So, did you ever? Nakita mo ba duling? Duling ba ako? <laughs> Look me in the eye. Okay, mali ka. Okay, saan may gumali? Tama, hindi ako duling. It just so happened, hindi ko kayang ilaw. Eh. Ah, gwapong lalaki ako. Uh, <clears throat> kaya, oh. You know, may, may kanta si um, Joe Jackson back in the 80s na Would you be my... Kaya ba? Wala. O, oh, di ba? Kasi, uh, di ba, eh, huwag na, ayoko na. Balik natin muna ito, kasi nababaday ako sa lights. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, VP Lenny. At, uh, I know that you try roasting me today, and I, I appreciate that you participated with due respect. My respect as a VP, nandyan pa rin. Uh, democratic country tayo. I, I, I allow you to do that to me. Okay lang. Yeah, after all... <laughs> Pa Paki ulit. Uh, bakit ako ang naiiba sa mga tulfo? Ano ang meron ako na wala doon sa tatlo? Um, pwede bang pag-usapan na natin next time? Maraming salamat ha. Alright. Thank you so much. Sa, sa, sa uulitin ha. Sa uulitin. Na, 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 sa, okay, tama na, tama na. Oh, sa uulitin. Ha? Thank you so much. The Vice. Not the Miami Vice. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Uh, balik ko tayo rito mga boss. Pag ang isang tao umamin ho na pagkakamali, makikita ho yung taong yun malakas. He's a strong-willed individual. Ang isang magaling na leader, 
nakikita niya ang pagkakamali at ina-adjust niya corrective action. What's that he's looking? He's looking for corrective action. He may, you know, he may try to adjust a little bit to get to his destination. May kasabihan ho lagi sa church ho namin, and I say, and I quote this, si Pastor Tan Chi, <laughs> si Peter, Pastor Peter, because I'm a CCF. Sabi niyo ho, you know, your destination, your, your, your direction will determine your destination. Very, very right. Every leader must look at his direction. Because your direction will lead you to your destination. Ani na buwan hindi ho po pwede matapos ang droga at inamin ho ng mama. Sinabi niya, malalim. Kasi ang pagbinasihan niya, pinagbasihan niya, inamin niya ho ito. Nasa jaryo ngayon ito eh. Sabi niya, I was not aware of the problem when I assumed office. Daba, Daba was my template. There were drugs there, but if you bring drugs there, you will die. Sabi niya, uh, again, President Duterte is talking, huh? I feel so bad about all these things. Kasi nalaman ko paano o paano ko makontrol in six months. Three months to six months. Ang mga general na polis nandiyan, tapos ang mga Bureau of Customs na yung hehensya na inaasahan ko, yung polis nasa droga. So how can I succeed if you give the whole of my term? He's talking about the naked truth. He's saying, I am not Superman. I make mistakes, but I will try to do my best and come up with a solution to the specific problem in drugs. Yung iba, Nakikita nila, wala eh. So this guy, I say, he's not going to stop in creating solution. We make choices and there will always be consequences. For every action, there will always be results, there will always be outcome. I'm Ben Tulfo. This is Bita Glive. Saying, thank you so much for watching. See you Monday. Adios.